Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SPY. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30-minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. Been doing this analysis on a very routine basis, so that's where the red and green line annotations are coming from, and that's also where the first update and talking point comes into play. And this update is just based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. So going into the day, that level right there at 342 was an area that was, you know, considered an area of resistance. But with the gap up this morning, at that point, at least according to the, the general rules of technical analysis, when the price opened up above it, you would expect it to act as support. I mean, you could throw this right into a textbook if you wanted to. Price did pull back around the day. I mean, you just can't make this stuff up. Check it out. Bounced right off that former area of resistance before working its way back upwards. So just an absolutely classic example of uh, resistance turning into a support. So moving forward, the moral of the story being, preferably speaking, if you're saying, Clay, you know, what would make this SPY look the absolute strongest? Definitely if the price can stay above 342. But if the price falls below that level, it's not the end of the world or anything like that because taking a step back and just, you know, looking at everything from more so the big picture point of view, that's where the purple line comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. So as long as, you know, or as time goes on, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So more of the story from the big picture point of view, as long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How you must visualize that, that is what has been represented. Again, sure, stand above 342 would be fantastic. But from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as areas of resistance are concerned now, let's squeeze things down here a little bit. Got to go back into the charts history a bit. But next key, pat, uh, public enemy, I don't know, did it break through that? Uh, yeah, it actually did. It's hovering, eh, I'm going to still call this level right here at three, let's see, what is that? 343.50, I'm still going to consider this an area of resistance. So yeah, it's basically sitting right at these previous highs, going back to the history. Let me change up the colors here real quick. You can see right there. Knock down the price, knock down the price. And once again, the price is sitting right at that level. Uh, so that'll definitely be public enemy number one. But if that area can officially be broken up above the next C level after that, right up around the 346 mark. But all in all, another nice move today. And we'll see how this one closes out the week on Friday. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.